So in studio today, super excited. Your song is amazing, by the way. <laughs> Thank um, you. We have, um, of course, Pamela Notando Pulo. Yes, Am I saying that correctly? Yes. There we go. But her stage name, or what she goes as, or prefers rather, is Nomina. Yeah, well. There we go. <laughs> um, so, of course, um, you know, she's a singer and songwriter. Her first single, known as Mama Land, re- released in 2016, which was, of course, the introduction to who she is and where her roots and her passion comes from. So, the song that we just heard, which was boosting all the way up in studio, is called Lutando. And we're going to be playing some more of our music as well mm-hmm. as we get to know a little bit more about her. So thank you for joining us, first and foremost. It's great having you in studio. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing quite fine. Thank you for having me here. This, this is yeah. amazing. Um, so I want to know, let's get into it. Tell the people a little bit more about yourself. For those of you, those just hearing you for the first time today, tell them who you are, what inspired you to make your beautiful magic that you create, and also just what that song was all about as well, Lutando. Yeah. Um, well, I am Nomina. I'm an artist, singer, songwriter. Um, I come from Botswana and I always say I'm a full-blown Zimbabwean and full-blown Botswana. <laughs> I don't like saying half-half. Uh, as my parents, my mom um, is from Zim and my dad um, from Botswana. So I grew up in Botswana too. And yeah, I'm... I'm also based in Germany, I'll say. So I started music long time, like at school choirs and you see church choirs as usual, like everybody else. And I always had passion for music. So I feel like I had this push, you know, to always get into music. However, if I had an opportunity to get on stage or just to write a song, you know, I started like reading like textbooks, you know, that's when I'm like just doing some melodies. I'll sing till my, you know, my siblings or people around me me they'll be so annoyed at times because yeah. i'll continue doing the same thing <laughs> yeah and the song lutan lulo um i wrote it during the days you know of covid mm. whereby i couldn't see my family or friends or you know so it was like this distance in a way and i just wanted to um send love you know in a way to my family to friends and also knowing that wherever they are they do care and they love me so i should just feel that even if we are far from each other mm. Yeah. How did you even end it up in Germany? Yeah, that's <laughs> that would be interesting. That's what you got. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe I was running away. <laughs> no, um, I, I just went as an au pair girl, you know, just oh, to okay. right. check out some different opportunities, get to know a different place. I always wanted to go to Europe. Yeah, mm. it was something I was like gathering my cousins and family members when I was still a kid. And I'd be like, one day I'm going to go there. One day I'm going to go there. So I ended up being there and also being able to study there. And yeah, that's how it is happened. It, is it great as it they say it is? Because, you know, with Europe, you know, in the past <laughs> years or in the past decade, mm. where they will always paint Western countries, all this goji. But when you sooner you get there... It's like, nah, this is not the way it is. Is is it also like that to you? Or you were like, nah, you didn't see the difference. I think Kusi (laughs) wants to know is, was it everything that you envisioned it to be? Yes. yes. Um, There's always a difference between the vision and the reality. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So, yeah, um, it it is cool. I love being there. But though, you know, I I love my roots more, of course. Mm. But I'm trying to embrace, like, both cultures. Because I've learned also a lot being there. And I remember, though, when I arrived the very first day, it was kind of sunny. It was in February. and But it's very cold. And I wasn't wearing a thick jacket. And I almost... It was too cold. And that very first day, I was like, hmm, do I really want to stay here, you know? But you get used and you get friends and you, yeah, you get to love the place also so it also brought something i think what i want to know is you know Mm. you mentioned you sang to your siblings anything like that yeah did they always know that you were like meant for music because you were always pushing it or did they give you that harsh criticism (laughs) like this is not sounding 100 you know know. (laughs) yeah yeah in the beginning of course you know because you'd be just like um, uh, boring people in a way because you keep on repeating one and the same thing and they're like oh not again not again and then I remember also like at school um, we had like the choir you know the school Mm. choir and the the teacher you know who was uh, doing 
in the, the, the school choir. He's like, no, you can't sing. <laughs> you have to stand aside. And I ended up, you know, ended up being the delegate. I don't like delegating yeah, all the yeah. time. And then, or maybe dancing, not singing with the choir. Because we're like, my voice is just going astray. You know, it's not like fitting it with others. It was doing its own yeah, thing. Yeah, its own thing. So I'm like, I'm going to show him that I'm, I'm, I can sing. And look <laughs> at you now. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I yeah. think also our listeners would like to know, you know, you are embracing both cultures and you say that you come from a very diverse background you're not just part zim you're full on full on yeah. um, do you incorporate that in the type of music that you make or would you like to expand you know on the type of music that you make going further yeah i uh, always um really try to to use all mm. all that i got so i i love embracing um zim that's why i also do sing in debele zulu you know and also in Sitsuana times and uh, in english and now i have also commit me that brings german in so i'm like trying to bring in everything and I, of course i want to expand i want to go more traditional zim and more Botswana. and that's why i also like uh, my videos also at times we find that there's a lot of tradition mm. In them, yeah. On the morning cruise, we always say we don't want to talk yappity yappity too much. <laughs> we have to hear your music also. Yeah. And then after the song, we'll get to know like where you're heading with your profession, man, especially when it comes to music. Okay. <laughs>
Even the owner of the song is going crazy on the song. <laughs> it's like, get out the chair and dance. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> dance. Yo. Uh, you could, oh, that was fire. That, that is dope. Fire. Who was the producer, though, of the song? Yeah, the producer I work with, uh, he's my brother, though. Oh, DJ so. Luiski. Ah. Yeah. Biological brother or... Brother. Yeah, he's, he's okay. He's your he's, brother. He no, stays no. with, yeah, he stays with us. So he's, he's my dope. brother. He, he's that amazing. Is, yeah, amazing. And also mixed and mastered by um, GT Beats. Nice from here. Yeah, super. Okay, super nice. so so when it comes to um, artistry of music, you know, as an artist nowadays, I, I won't call you uh, 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 just an artist. These days, you have to call someone who's creating something mm, a creative. Uh, a creative oh, know? that's nice. You can create music just because you have that mindset of creating stuff. You end up creating clothes. You end yeah. up creating other, even cars. Who knows? Designing. <laughs> so, what's what's the next step for you? Are you gonna? Move on with the brand nomina, or you're gonna rebrand in future, or you're gonna put some other business on the side. Because these days, as a creative, you can't just do one thing. Mm. What is the future plan for nomina? Yeah, hey, you're so right. You can't just depend on one. Um, yeah, as a brand, I'm really looking forward to um, also developing my own products. Mm. Yeah, you know, like merchandising, I'm already starting to work on that or have started already. And um, the other thing, what, what did I want to say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just like to grow. And also, I also have a foundation on the other side where I do charity work. That's also something that is important for me also for my brand because I do that heartfelt. It's a heartfelt Thing that I'm doing, so yes, I have to grow and um, do other businesses also. Yeah. Okay. W- sorry, Jamie. Last part. <laughs> what are you busy with now? Are, are you? Is, is the EP that coming? Was album question. coming? That was my question. Damn snap. We think I like telekinesis. Um, yeah, there is an EP coming soon. I don't have the dates yet. Oh. Because, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm missing now with German. Now, <laughs> I'm saying yet. Okay, yeah, I'm planning an EP. I've been working on it. Um, and the other thing that is um, out now is um, a song with um, Sean Kingston. So we have been working around with it, like um, with the label. So it's out, yes, but um, we are still to push it in a way. So it's mm. not yet out in the radios. It's called um, um, Closer to You. Mm. Mm. Yes. Nice. And I think I was going to ask as well, like, who are some of the people that you want to work with going forward? Of course. Everybody has the vision of someone you would love to collaborate with, but who yeah. is that for you? Or you worked with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here in South Africa. Can I don't know. Anywhere. It can be anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Yeah. anywhere. Okay, I love um, Kapsa. Mm. Kapsa is small. Yeah, and I like Nokwazi. I, there are so many artists. I mean, Kelly Kumalo, I love her music. Um, international, I love Sean Paul. <laughs> you see, I've started with Sean Kingston, so I'm going that going direction. Going over Sean. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, Charlie, um, XCX. I also love her from England. Um, wow, 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 wow. Steph London. Uh, there are so many. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You can count them. I mean, it's, it's a long list. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I think going forward that a lot of artists want to take their music, their brand to, of course, another mm. level. They want to mm. reach certain people. What are some of the highlights you would say of your career so far that you cherish, that you <laughs> hold close to you? Yeah, um, for me, it was me having to perform like um, in Berlin um, ah. at the World Peace Day in Brandenburg Tour. That was something amazing, having such a big crowd. And um, yeah, also Reggae in Wolf. That was also something amazing where I performed with the band um, Warrior Kings. You know, that's a, a great, great step. And then also my song be number one, Lutandolo in Zimbabwe for weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh, snap. And, that's dope. <laughs> and Commit Mia also being in the charts, like the top 200 Shazam charts um, in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe and also being in the charts and the radio station. So that's um, something amazing. And now me having the song with Sean Kingston also is, is just a, a mm. great, great, great step. Mm. So, yeah. 
I'm loving it. <laughs> so, uh, to be honest with you, also honored to have you in studio. Yeah, uh, thank with us. you. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, obviously, with you having planned for your EP, uh, see, watch how you're going to do it. What I, I want to know, though, just to take you a little bit uh, off uh, the topic that we're talking about, uh, you. What do you think of the continent? We see that nowadays, for the ever since COVID nineteen started, Africans are starting to be creative. We're inventing things. We've the first people to invent wireless TV. Well, yeah, that's another story <laughs> well, for another day. That Zimbabwean guy. Uh, with the one who created the stand for the, you know, the, that COVID-19 thing where you don't touch, you try, it was a boy who created that. Like, mm. we we in a phase now, or almost everywhere in the continent, people are being creative and we're using scraps, you know, to create all these things. Mm-hmm. We've been doing it with music. So what do you think as someone who's also been around the world and also now coming back home, promoting your music, what do you think are uh, the future of the continent as somebody who's also seen the other worlds? Yeah, I think if, if, hey, the continent is, yeah, it's a big thing. But I, I feel like COVID also did give people a chance to rethink and reflect, I think, mm. during that time. Because we are usually like always running like hamsters. But now we had time to just, um, yeah, find ourselves in a way also. So I feel like there is... Um, a big movement also like for for the continent for africa i feel like um people are kind of also motivated you know to to invent new things and 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 just also things to come also from africa we have a lot of talent we have a lot of people who are also educated and yeah I see it's going to be positive, but we need the politics to be better. <laughs> yeah, we need to stop that nonsense of xenophobia soon. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. And also keep together and build together, support each other. So these are things that we need. And I, I feel like there is a way we are growing. Mm. Nice. Yeah. But also, Nomina, time is a bit jealous with us. Yes. So where can people catch you on social media if they do want to follow you as well? Just to catch up with what you're And doing. if there's upcoming gigs. Yeah, also. and if there's any upcoming <laughs> gigs, please feel free to share. Okay. That. Um, right now, they can get me on um, Instagram. It's nomina underscore music. Twitter, nomina at music. Um, TikTok, nomina at music. It's always the same. Um, YouTube is nomina music. Um, Facebook uh, is nomina music. I just got hacked anyways. Eh? That was so painful. Damn. But I started yeah. afresh. So, yeah. Go yeah. and go and follow. Go and also, and the music is out there on the online stores. Mm. They can get the music everywhere. Yeah. But before we let you go, I'm going to be playing another one of your songs. It's called Rice. Do you want to yeah. tell us a little bit more about that just yeah. before we let you go? <laughs> rice is just like a fun song, mm. but it's got a meaning behind it. You know, we eat a lot of rice, right? So I'm yeah. like. But we never really sometimes think about the work that is behind producing that rice. The mm. farmer is working because they go deep, you know, in, in yeah, water yeah. and whatsoever. So I just like kind of a reminder, you know, to say, yeah, just think of those ones also. You know, they help for us to, to, to have this rice that has become like um, a stable meal or stable, yeah. So to everyone. To yeah. everyone, yeah. But it's a fun song though. Yeah, you can dance and think. And also, uh, <laughs> last part, uh, what would you like to say to the listeners listening now? Because obviously with your journey, you're still hustling hard, still mm. trying to get to be where you are, want to be. But yeah. you've achieved a lot. You've been to Germany, you've, you've traveled around. So what would you like to say to that person who's listening now? Maybe they already give up on their lives. Mm. Uh, what would you like to say in terms of motivation? Yeah, I'll just say, um, okay, yeah, it, it, it's not easy when well, you hustle, right? But I think it's just about you believing in what you really feel is yours. You have a dream and you can't just give up. Even me, sometimes I want to give up. But I'll be like, uh-uh, I just love this thing so much that I can't just give up. But it's just also um, opening up also for support, like getting people to help you where they can. Um, also for you to grow. Like you just have to be yourself and just follow for your dream and work hard and eat a lot yeah. of rice and eat a lot of rice <laughs> <laughs> Nahina, thank you so much for joining us today yeah. this was amazing 
Hopefully we can get you back uh, soon. Definitely. When, when yeah. your EP is dropping, EP, come yeah, back. Yeah, we'll come. We'll come come back. back. Listening Anytime. session. <laughs> Listening session. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a beautiful Thank day. Thank you too. Thank you too. It was lovely to be here. Sweet. Yeah.